morning and a beautiful day to you. Today, I am gonna take you to my favorite beach in South Lombok. I am heading out for a day at the beach and this is my favorite beach to there's some really lots of lovely beaches along this coast and they're all good for different reasons but if I had to pick just one beach to go to this will probably be how I would spend my day A very pleasant and beautiful 30 minute drive from Kuta and we are at my beach for the day. Salong Balanak. And why is this my favorite beach in South Lombok? Well, just look at it. The beach is beautiful. Beautiful white soft sand on a quite a big broad beach, curving around a big bay so it's nice and protected. The water is that beautiful aquamarine color and lovely clean and clear. It's good for surfing or that's like beginner surf, which is really nice. So you can just practice your skills a little bit or just paddle out and enjoy the water. It generally is all on a nice beach, it's great. When you first arrive on the beach, you arrive back there amongst all the warongs and the sunbeds, it seems a bit busy and hectic. But just give it a moment, walk through, there's like one layer of warongs and uh, sunbeds, then you're on to this beautiful beach. And you'll see it's actually been quite well organized. Up the far end, up there, is where all the fishing boats are. So you'll find no fishing boats on this main beach, which is great. Then you've got where the warongs and the sunbeds are, along this stretch here. Um, so you can get something to eat and they're quite reasonably priced. Ooh, bit of wind here. And you can rent out a sunbed. Then you've got an entire half of the beach up there, which is practically empty. So you can either choose to hire a sunbed and sit in a restaurant, hire a surfboard, or head out like I did, find a quiet patch of beach down there and just chill for a bit. And the general atmosphere on the beach is also great. A low key, friendly vibe. There's nobody hassling you to sell something as you go along the beach. Find your spot, they leave you alone. If you want to go into the Warung, they're friendly enough. The food here is quite reasonably priced and quite decent as well, so that's another bonus. You can rent surfboards, you can get surfing lessons, or you can just chill on the beach and read a book. Now, what I intend to do, now I'm here, is rent a board and just splash around in the surf for a little while. It's a nice gentle surf today, not too fierce waves crashing right close to it. The other thing that makes it nice for learner surf is that it's a sandy beach. There's no rocks here to fall on. So you can fall off, you just fall off on the sand. Get washed in and it's nice and shallow too, easy to get to the shore. So, if you're going to learn to surf or practice your skills a little bit if you're a beginner, this is a great place. 